<laughs> but look what ended up happening in the end. Look at the blessing and the provision that he got in the end. Look at that. And Peter, when Jesus told Peter when it was all said and done, he says, now take your boat and go out into the deep. Let me uh, give you a fishing lesson out there uh, from studying that particular area and that culture. Fish were never in the deep. Not with a net. What Jesus is telling Peter to do, first of all, you don't fish during the day. And you don't fish in the deep. You just don't do that. But, and it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense to the natural. But Peter said, because you've told me to do it, because your word says so, I'm going to do it. Can I tell you, this is the word of God. And not everything in here may make sense all the time. Does it make sense for a man to offer his only son upon an altar? Huh? Does it make sense for uh, God to tell Gideon to dwindle his army down to 300 people? Huh? No. Some of the stuff that God is asking uh, you to do, some of the stuff that God, it doesn't make sense to the natural mind. And the stuff that you've already tried before when you felt God tell you and it didn't work out, God is asking you to do it again. I believe that's what going deeper is. Peter learned that what he could not do in the natural, Jesus could do for him in the supernatural. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you what happened here. Jesus wasn't just revealing to Peter. Peter, who Jesus was? Let me say that again. Jesus was not just revealing to Peter who Jesus was. He was revealing to Peter who Peter was in Jesus. Because Peter had Jesus right at that moment. And Jesus was demonstrating to Peter, if you are mine, this is what you have to look forward to. Listen, not blessings, come on, not material things. Because it's just, I love how the story ends. Peter left everything to follow Jesus, amen. Most people would have put that in the bank and followed Jesus to get more blessings, come on. They would have followed him to get more healings. They'd have followed him to get to see more signs. But Peter left because of the blessings, not for the blessings, amen. He left everything and followed Jesus. I don't know where the Lord has taken you today, but I can tell you this. What you're going through, twofold. To demonstrate who Jesus is, but most importantly, listen, to demonstrate who you are in Jesus. He wants to reveal who you are. I'll say that again. He wants to reveal who you are in Jesus. He doesn't want you to see who you are in the natural because that will get you only so far. He wants to take you to those deeper places where the manifestation of His ability, His power, and His authority can then be working in your life. None of the apostles did what they did in their own identity, in their own ability, in their own natural giftings, in their own charisma, in their own talent. They were only able to do what they did and change the world and the culture around them when they discovered who they truly were in Jesus. When they got a hold of their new identity. Amen. 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 When they got a hold of their new identity. Here's what many in the, in the kingdom of God are wrestling with today. They're struggling with who they are in Jesus. They have taken religion. They've taken church. And they've applied it to their life. Come on. Yes. They've taken the word of God. And they've salted themselves. And they have peppered themselves. And they have basted themselves. They have marinated themselves in all the activities of what the Bible says to do. To pray, to worship, to fast, to submit, to read the word of God, to be diligent, to obey, to come to church, to tithe, to do all these things. They have taken upon themselves the word of God. And they've sprinkled it on like salt. God's not asking for that. Right. He's asking for a transformation. He's asking for a new identity. To where what you do, what you think, who you become is not who you were. Come on. But you become this new creature in Christ. That's what the Bible says. A new creature. A new born again is how it's phrased. You become something new in the kingdom of God. Everybody say a new identity. New identity. You know why he blessed them like that? You know why he blessed them so much? So that both boats were full instead of just the one? So it would be impossible for them to take credit. So that they would have to recognize that there is a God. That God is standing right there in their midst. And what it did was it changed them. It changed, listen, it changed their minds. It changed who they, who, because once people, Peter decides to get rid of everything and follow Jesus. He is now a disciple of Jesus, not a disciple of the world, not a disciple of religion, not a disciple of the church. Amen. Amen. So many people, I think, are missing their breakthroughs because they stop at what doesn't make sense, because they, they stop uh, walking in obedience. They, they think it's too hard. They, they don't quite understand how they're going to do it. Every, everything that you're dealing with and wrestling with is because God wants to change your identity. Can I say that again? He wants to change the way you see yourself. Lisa, can you come up? Listen, if you're struggling today, hey, if you're struggling today, 
If you've tried Jesus, if you've been there, if you've done that, if you've tried praying and believing, you've been there, you've done that. If you stepped out in faith, you've tried that, you believe that. If you come for healing, you've tried that, you've been, and nothing happened. This might be the very, if, if, if you failed to, to walk in the manifest, maybe this is the time that God wants to take you a little bit deeper. Amen. Amen. He wants to take you a place that may not make sense. Shallow, warmer waters did not make sense. Come on. But Jesus blessed him as he took him out even deeper. It isn't always logical. I love the ending of the story. Peter got his miracle. Peter got his provision. Peter got his breakthrough. Peter got his revelation. Peter got his victory. Because he was obedient. Because he was willing to try it. Because he was willing to go deeper. I love how, I think it was John that said... If you're willing to pay the extra expense, if you're willing to go a little bit further, I think there's great rewards, not just for you and your boat, but for those that are around you, for your children, for your neighbors, for those in relationship with you. Peter left everything to follow Jesus, not for the blessings not for the provision of fish and I think the ending of the story was Peter found out who he was because Jesus spoke the most powerful words to him he'd ever heard he said now you'll be a fisher of man of man his new identity his old identity was a fisher of fish Jesus spoke into his life he said now you'll be a fisherman of man that's the new identity. That was the whole purpose for it. Can you see that? Jesus was establishing an identity. Jesus was showing Peter who he was going to be. Everything you've gone through, everything that you're in the midst of going through right now, in Jesus' name, everything you're going through is because Jesus wants to show you a new identity. Come on, he wants to take you to a new place. He wants to reveal to you who he is so that you can see who you are. Does not the Bible say in the book of Genesis he created man in our image? That's the word, in our image, in the likeness of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The problem is we've been following the old image. We've been following the old likeness, and it has contaminated our mind, and it has stopped us. It's time, listen, it's time we get a hold of who we are in Jesus. Come on, we're not manipulated by our culture, by our events. Brooke came in, and she looked at that banner back there, the one on the far left. It says, Prince of Peace. And she says, Jesus is the Prince of Peace? I said, yes, he is. How many can bear witness to that? Come on. Whatever we're going through, we don't have to go through it like those who are lost. Like those who don't know Jesus. Let's stand in here and just right now, search out your heart. Right now, look inside and just say, Lord, if there's something of mine that you want to use, come on, I give it to you. If there's something in my life that you would like to change, I give you permission, authority to change it. Jesus, I want to follow you, not because you blessed me, but because you took my failures, come on, and you baptized them out in the deep. Come on. Because you broke the barriers of the natural in my life and you demonstrated how super you are and how things that don't make sense, you can make work. I want to follow you because you opened my eyes to see things that are just humanly impossible. And I want to be a part of that realm. I want to be a part of that kingdom. If that's you, come on. Just stand just stand, and, and lift your hands right now and just say, Jesus, come on. I want to worship you. I want to bless you. I want to follow you. Come on. Lisa, sing. Yeah. Worship him right here. Just worship wherever you're at. Come on.